Hello and welcome back to yet another video. You find me in Philly's 30th Street Station today, and I will be taking Scepter Regional Rail to Wawa, one of their brand new train stations. Now, if you're like me and came in from the westernmost entrance, you'll have to make a sharp turn to your left to access the Regional Rail platforms. Then, after walking through a small corridor, you can find the Regional Rail Main Hall with a couple of ticket machines to load up your key card. After checking how much value my keycard had from my last trip to Philly, I topped it up with around $20 and carried on with my trip. After tapping through the fare gate, I headed up to track 6 to catch my train to Wawa, which was already late. Before I knew it, my train to Wawa was pulling in on the platform. My train today is the newest electric multiple unit of the SEPTA Regional Rail Fleet. It's a Silver Liner 5, built by Hyundai Rotom between 2009 and 2016. These trains were delivered to SEPTA as early as 2010, so they've seen already a fair share of usage. So with just a tiny bit of this train's history out of the way, let's head on board and see what it's like. As we are departing the station, let's get a quick look at our route for today. Our route today sees us heading south, traveling on the entirety of the Media Wawa line to Wawa, and it would roughly take around 45 minutes. much more firm, much more iron boardy and not as comfortable. So overall, they're meh, they're not the best seats, but they can be better. Um, it's for legroom, it's quite airtight. I mean, if I move all the way back, there's a decent amount, but if I scooch forward, there's like barely any. So not the best seat, but not the worst either. The seats also feature clips on the top to either hold your ticket or sometimes your key card, as well as an armrest and a handle. Lastly, the seats also have overhead racks to store luggage, as well as coat hooks found at the top near the window. A common theme for stations on the Media Wawa line is their simplicity. This is Gladstone Station, and it only features a small parking lot, a platform, and a shelter. Here we are in Clifton Aldlin, which is one of the rare stations where transferring between a streetcar and regional rail is almost seamless. Another thing about the Media Wawa line is the scenery. While it's not much to note at first, as we're literally just gliding through the suburbs, we soon find ourselves in much more rural territory. We go through some parks, 
as well as lots of forests and just open land in general, which is really nice to look at. Another thing to note about these trains is that, by the front and back ends of the train, the 2 plus 2 configuration turns into a 2 plus 3. So if you want to have a bit more privacy, I suggest you sit in the middle of the car. In the back end of the car is where you can find the train's accessible seating. This is made up in a fold-up bench. When folded up, you can fit a wheelchair in the left-out space. On the note of accessibility, these trains also feature two different doors. One is meant for low platforms, while the other one is meant for high or accessible platforms. Here we are passing a brand new yard near Wawa Station, which means we are going to be arriving at our destination quite soon. At the yard, you can also see SEPTA's ACS 64s and their Comet cars waiting to be used. So, as we make our slow but steady approach into Wawa Station, how was this trip in general? Well, overall, I think SEPTA's trains are quite solid. The seats, albeit not the comfiest, are still comfy enough and aren't the worst in the world. The trains are also quite modern, being already in use for 10 years now. Lastly, this trip was also quite cheap, just $7 for a 45-minute trip. You won't be finding that in New Jersey, for sure. One nitpick I do have with these trains is the absence of bathrooms. Maybe I just didn't search thorough enough, but I just couldn't seem to find any. If you know why this is the case, please let me know in the comments below. But overall, I would recommend SEPTA Regional Rail as these trains provide modern and, albeit sometimes frequent, service from the suburbs of Philly into downtown. All right, everyone, we have made it to Wawa, the newest station on the entire SEPTA Regional Rail Network, opening just a few months back. And as you can see behind me, there's actually, well, one track that keeps running, and then there's another one. It, uh, oops, I don't know where to point, but you can see that other track just ends there. There's space for an overpass, so I think they might extend trains to Westchester one day. But for now, let's review and enjoy this brand new station. First order of business is tapping off. All right, so after tapping off, we head down the stairs. Uh, I believe this would head to the station. And here it is, Wawa Station, everybody. There's lots of Wawas. Even signs for the nearest Wawa and uh, very nice um, artwork here, especially this one. I like this one. I think this is why the station's called Wawa. It's named, it might have been named after the Wawa Dairy. I'm not really sure. And then just random stuff not really being used. I'm not really sure what this is for. Just sort of. So that's pretty much it. Let's go to the station. Now, in true North American commuter rail fashion, the waiting room was unfortunately closed. It did look really nice, though, and quite modern, to say the least.
As you can see, this train station is really car oriented. To my right, there is a big parking garage, and there is also a small bus loop. Here we can see bus number 111, bound for Chadsford, arriving at Wawa Station. There's also maps of the SEPTA network throughout the station, as well as these digital information screens, but I just couldn't get them to work. The touchscreen isn't really that responsive. Alright, thank you so much for watching uh, this trip report and this short review of the new Wawa station. Hope you have a happy holidays. This is the 4905 here, and I will see you next time.